Welcome to Techie Jack. In this video, we will see can we use the Microsoft Teams for our users having mailboxes in Exchange on premises. The answer is yes, we can use it. So, in this video, we are going to understand how Microsoft Teams and Exchange on premises can work together through a hybrid setup. Have you ever wondered how Microsoft Teams can show you calendar even when your mailboxes is hosted on your company's on premises Exchange server? Microsoft Teams is a cloud service and it's a part of Microsoft 365. So when a user logs into Teams, service looks for that user's calendars and mailbox. Usually it search it in a Exchange Online. But if the mailbox is not present in the Exchange Online and still sitting on your on-premises Exchange 2019 or Exchange 2025, it has no way to access that data unless we build a secure bridge to connect them. And that secure bridge is called a hybrid exchange configuration. In this, you connect your on-premises exchange to Microsoft 365 by using Microsoft Entra ID. Formerly, it was known as Azure AD. And with the modern authentication and some published exchange endpoint like EWS and AutoDiscover. Let's see how this hybrid integration works. Think that your mailbox is still on Exchange 2019 or 2025 in your data center. You open the Teams from home, so when you click on the calendar, the process that works in the background is First Teams check your identity in the Enter ID. Teams uses the Auto Discover to locate your mailbox. And then Teams sends a calendar request via EWS, Exchange Web Services. Then your Exchange responds using OAuth token, that is a modern authentication. And your calendar appears in Teams, even though your all mailbox data is still in your on-premises data center. So what you need in place for this thing to happen, you should have a Exchange 2016 CU3 or higher. You should have a Microsoft Entra ID installed and Entra Connect Sync like syncing your Active Directory to the cloud. You should also install the hybrid configuration wizard and public SSL certificate and proper DNS is required that is EWS or AutoDiscover. In real world example you can say if you have a domain like techiejack.net you will need publicly accessible endpoints like autodiscover.techiejack.net and mail.techiejack.net for EWS. Let's also see the common issues and misunderstandings. If you see that why your calendar is blank, that means autodiscover is not published or SSL certificate is not issued properly. If you have the problem like why can't I schedule team meetings in Outlook, that means team add-ins need a hybrid modern authentication. If you have not set that, you have to set that. And if you see that your user does not show in Teams, in that case, the Entra Connect Sync is missing or there is a UPN mismatch. UPN is basically a user principal name in the form of the email address. Also remember that to make team work with Exchange on-premises, you are not just connecting two systems. You are creating a hybrid trust between them with Entra ID, hybrid modern authentication and published endpoint services so that teams can see your calendar from on-premises exchange itself. I think this helped you understand how teams and exchange on-premises work together in a hybrid world. I hope the video was informative. Let's meet in a next video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy this video and want to see more, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell icon to get notified whenever I post new content.